I wanted to bring good news, but today is not the day. Instead, today will be my final time updating about my Stashway portfolio and after that it will be goodbye Stashway. In this video, I'm going to update my final Stashway account value so that you can have an idea on the platform's performance. I have been investing with Stashway for about two years now, um, right in the beginning of the pandemic, which is in I think January 2020 and I have shared my one year update in a previous video that if you're curious you can go see and today I'm sharing my own personal experience I can only have myself to blame by putting my money into the worst performing robo advisors so far Based on an experiment done by Chong Wee um, who shared on CD he has been tracking the performance of the various robo advisors in the market namely Stashaway, Endowers and Sai since January 2021. At the end of 2021, Endowers actually performed quite well. Um, next will be Scythe. And for Stash Away, basically you would have lost money investing with them. Personally for me, I have not been contributing to my Stash Away portfolio since uh, mid of 2021. And I have decided not to do anything and just leave the money there since they have recommended us to at least stay invested for 3-5 to five years. So instead of putting more money into it, I just, you know, not touch it. So right now, two years and four months in uh, my investing journey with Stash Away, I am still hoping that uh, as we inch closer to three years, um, Stash Away would actually turn a profit. Um, but right now, the market is not doing very well. So anyways, based on uh, Chong Wee's results, you have invested with Stash Away from January 2021 till now, you would have lost about 7.89% of your money, while for Endowers, you would gain a 9.66%. Personally, for me, I'm not a financial advisor or am I very well versed in all the investing tools. While interested in it, I'm not accredited or anything. I'm just a normal consumer. As someone who is not well versed in the financial instruments, you would probably expect that if you put your money in the robo advisors, you will at least gain a bit more compared to putting it, your money in a bank account, right? And especially if you pay uh, monthly uh, management fee too, at least expect that they don't lose your money. But of course, all investments have their risk and this includes robo advisors as what you have seen, you know, the different performance from all the three different robo advisors. So if you don't know, now you know. And now you can avoid the lessons or the mistakes I've done. So I've been reading this book called um, Skin in the Game and it taught me about the challenges when there's a loop-sided reward or one-sided benefits or incentives. So um, what robo advisors typically do is that they charge you a monthly fee based on the um, assets under management. And if the assets under management lose money, they will still continue to charge you a management fee, which means that they can continue deducting the management fee even if there's a negative return, even when you don't make any money. Therefore, for my stash away portfolio, the stash away management fee is also included as losses uh, as an overall. So now you can see my stash away performance. Based on a simple calculation, my net deposit was about 29,000 and so far the returns is a negative 1,000-ish, uh, which is around 4%. My portfolio is split between income, which is more towards um, local investments, and the other split is into a 22% uh, risk portfolio which invest in a more global type of assets. If you want to learn more, I do have a previous video that I break down what exactly are the different portfolios that I'm invested in for Stash Away. The thing is that for Stash Away, they do recommend us to stay invested for three to five years uh, with their portfolio. And now I have been with them for about two years and four months. Um, but I'm still negative. So I'm not too sure, you know, by the end of the year, which is another eight more months, I would be able to at least break even that means not lose money at all or I at least have a profit uh, you know, by putting my money with them but anyways, I would not know because uh, right now I have decided to liquidate all my stash away uh, positions to just take the losses I know rightly it's likely it's not a good time and maybe it will be a stupid decision if stash away performance suddenly become better in the next couple of months but we never know, um, only time will tell 
the reason why I need to liquidate this money is because I'll be needing money uh, to make a down payment for our house and out of all my investing areas uh, I'm just not very really confident about uh, the stash away performance I prefer to make my money work even harder so I'll go where the data says so yeah I hope endowers continue to do well for this year also I plan to portion some of my finances into DIY investing such as buying the index funds I hope this video will be helpful for you let me know if you do invest in robo advisors and I would like to hear your experience so far <coughs> So then, I'll see you.